Hello guys, my name is Gavin, and this will be a tutorial on how to, to use dynamic text objects or text object to display various amounts of information in ways that are kind of abstract or ways that might be useful when you're displaying information to the user, like whether it be something like ammo or health or just things like that. All right, I'm just going to get started. To start off, let's right click on our camera and hit X delete, and then right click on this light and hit X delete. And let's right click on this cube and hit X delete. All right. I'm then going to hit 7 to go in the top view and do spacebar and then add a camera like that. Add camera. Okay. I'm going to drag this up like that. I'm going to hit 0 right here and do spacebar and then add a text object. I'm going to drag this off to the left corner. We don't have to do anything like rename it or anything for now, so that's good. Let's then go from defaults to game logic and from Blender Render to Blender Game. And over here, what we're going to do is add two game properties. This first one is going to be called integer. Or the first one is going to be an, an, an integer, but it's going to be called number. And the second one we're going to call is word. All right. And we're just going to keep the word one empty for now. All right. On our text object, let's add a sensor always and click these first three dots and add a keyboard sensor. It's called a space. Like tap and add the keyboards and add the spacebar right there. Let's then add a Python controller and connect these. All right. Then what we're gonna do is when we drag this out, do templates Python and then game logic simple right here, and delete the portion that I've highlighted. Hit Control and scroll up on your mouse to make your text larger. I'm just gonna rename this to script.py and add that right here. Okay, next what we're going to do is let's define that spacebar sensor first inside of our script. I can drag this out. So spacebar, yeah, bar is going to equal content sensors space. Actually, we don't need this bar right here. Like that. And what we're going to do first, actually next, is define a string version of our game property number. So let's have um, number going to equal string of own number that and let's display that number onto our text object so we're going to have own dot text is going to equal number so if we hit play now we can see that now says zero but what happens when you're actually using this is that when you're when you have text objects as a string you can actually add them together to make dynamic words and stuff or like longer words so I'm just gonna put something like um inside of a string over here in quotes let's put number colon space like that and hit a plus in between so it's going to add these two strings together to come up with that so it's number colon zero all right and we can see that these are actually dynamic because if we do something like an if statement so let's have if space dot positive own number is going to plus equal one you can see that every time I hit the space bar it's going to go up by one all right, but let's say we don't want this to be just an arbit like um just a random word that we put there. Let's say we want it to actually be something like a, a game property. So own word is a string, so we can add those together. So if we hit P, we see there's nothing there. But if I put something in here like hello or something, which is kind of weird, but it works. It says hello zero, but let's not have that be that. Let's have that if own number, let's have an if statement. So if own number is less than or equal to five, we're going to have own word is going to equal um, low like this. And if it's an else, we're going to have own word is going to equal um, let's say hi. I don't know, these are just two random numbers. But you can see that if I hit space, once it reaches six, it's going to change like that. But let's that's one way of doing it. But there's another way that you can do it which is kind of useful as well. I'm gonna leave these two if statements here. But I'm just gonna take out the insides. What we're gonna do is import random. So import random. And down here. What we're going to do is after number, 
let's create two different lists. So low list is going to equal low like that. And let's have um, empty. And we're going to have high list is going to equal high comma, let's say full. There are two separate things that we can input in here. And what this is going to do is have it so that if we press the space bar, it's going to change, it's going to randomly choose an item from this list depending on whether or not it's full or empty, or ammo is full or empty. It's going to display that. So, <clears throat> if own number is less than or equal to five, actually I'm going to take these out too. I'm, to, I'm going to incorporate this aspect into um, our space bar click. So down here, what we're going to do is if we press the space bar and have if own number is less than five, we're going to have own word I'm going to equal a random dot choice and then low list. So the string variable word is going to be equal to an item within this low list. And if it's an else, we're going to have own word is going to equal random dot choice high list like that so if I can scroll out so it's essentially just kind of like every time we tap the space bar it should choose a different item or it might choose the same depending on what we tap so if I hit the space bar now we can see it's empty you can see it's alternating between high and full like that but as you can see right here we've got it so that um the number is right next to the word so I'm going to put a colon and a space in between all these. Or actually, that's something I could do. Let's actually not do that. Let's not put a colon and a space in between this. Let's have own word. We're going to have a plus, And then inside quotations, a colon like that. So it's going to automatically add the colon and the plus and the, the colon in between the number and the word that we have. So if I hit play and click the space bar, it'll have empty low, empty, empty, full, high. And you can see that's kind of how we can incorporate dynamic text into our game. All right, so that's all I have for now. I hope you guys found this useful. Um, have a good day. Here's the script just for one more second.